On this fire minute, we thought we'd get out and give a few different techniques for throwing the 20 foot wall ladder as a one person operation. The reason this is often a one person operation is because it's the only ladder left for the truck engineer on a fire where the firefighter took the 28 footer. Here Yuli Sanchez is showing us one of the easier ways when you don't have an even the way. This minute was actually Mike Camberos' idea and here he is demonstrating what's called the trombone method <laughs> which can be used in tight places like an alley where a direct approach is not available. You see he walks one hand up the beam and the other rung to rung shifting the weight forward as he arrives at the spot he wants to throw the ladder. Definitely need to give this one a try a couple times before you try it on the fire ground. Here's Sean John showing a variation where he's walking up with the rungs. And this really works well for him, um, but he does admit that he's got some height and some weight to be able to throw around. And it may not work really well for everybody, so it's a good reason to get out there and try some of these different methods. Here we have Mikey demonstrating the javelin or spear method. <laughs> Am I working in 96 or what? What's with these names? Anyways, as the name would otherwise imply, he's positioning the ladder like a spear he's throwing up to the roof. That roof was a bit too simple, so we thought we'd find one that was a bit more of a challenge. And here's Yuli showing how us short guys get it done. Sean John wanted to share a tip where if you give it some muscle when you're sliding out, it'll end up about the center balance point. And then here he is showing another variation on the uh, javelin or spear method. And he admits this is better for someone with more of a basketball build. It's alright, buddy. Some of us make better horse jockeys than basketball players. And that was all heart that got that up there. <laughs> we had heard about this method where you use the Halligan bar. Oh good, what's this one going to be called? Oh, the Halligan method? Okay, I guess that's not so bad. Uh, using it as a counterweight to throw the ladder if you have an eave and can't easily use the wall to foot your ladder. So we thought we'd give it a try. A bonus here is that after you have your ladder in place, you can use the Halligan as an adjustable chalk if you're on a slope, as featured in the Fire Minute on laddering on slopes. But if I'm being entirely honest with you, we did this one several times. It was awkward. Nobody really cared for this method, and there were more fails than uh, successes on this one. And I'll, sh I'll show you what I mean. I mean, this poor guy, he must have tried six or seven times he was exhausted uh, I don't think he actually did it though uh, probation keep going <laughs> you almost got it buddy all right let's give it one more try oh. <laughs> that was catastrophic all right I think we're done with this one no, nah, but really, props to this guy for working as hard as he did. He kicked butt on everything else, and I have footage of every single one of us screwing up just like this. So, uh, thanks for being a good sport. And thank you, Mikey Camberos, for contributing for this fire minute.